So I told you guys last week that I was gonna put a charcuterie board together for like a Valentine's theme. So I just finished doing it, it took me a little bit, but I do really like how it turned out. And all right, I'll let you know what we have here. So we have Reese little hearts here. These are actually the new coconut brownie built bars, which are so good, they're my new favorite. I have them there and up there. We have strawberries on both sides. These are those marshmallow Hershey chocolates, the Lady Gaga Oreos, which are a really pretty shade of pink and they have these little hearts on some of them. Then we have Hershey Kisses. These little heart-shaped candies here are the um, peppermint patties. Then we have Dove Chocolate, little chocolate-covered pretzels from Walmart, more kisses. These are the brownie bites I made last week that are sugar-free. And we have these cinnamon hearts and conversation little sugar cookies from Walmart. And then this is a measuring cup that I use to put the M&Ms in. And this is a cookie cutter. These two sugar cookies are from Target. And then I think that's it. Oh, and I made the licorice into little pinwheels with some toothpicks. Um, they're on either side as well. So yeah, I really like how it turned out. All right, step two of our yard is starting today. They're doing the paver border for our grass and it's rounded out over here because that's where our um, gazebo will be later. They're almost done cementing it in and they're gonna put some sand on it. And as you can see, Chris has stakes for where our, well, his shed will be. I say ours because it'll be in the yard and it'll be pretty. But yep, step two going down. Right, babies? All right guys, they're all finished with the border. So next step's gonna be putting the grass in and then we'll be doing the plants and the rock. So I'm just starting to heat up the buffalo chicken dip. It has about two cups of shredded chicken, um, cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese, two ounces, two eight ounce packs of cream cheese. And then it has three fourths of a cup Frank's Red Hot and then a cup of ranch dressing. And it is so delicious. I make this every single year for Super Bowl. Then let me show you our little setup over here. So we also are gonna have little mini corn dogs that I'm gonna make in the air fryer. And those are gonna go on the sides here, but I have some carrots and some celery and some corn chip like scoops and Doritos. And then we've got the charcuterie board that I showed you earlier. And then we're also gonna have some chicken wings, um, just like not hot wings, just chicken wings. And what else? The dip that I just showed you guys. So lots of yummy things. I think ribs too. Oh boy, lots of food. It's looking about ready. Just been stirring it every once in a while. Looking good. About an hour from the game. Sorry for any noise in the background, um, but I just wanted to show you really quick. I got a Sephora order in because I wanted to try this melting cleansing balm from them and it had really good reviews. I only ordered one. For some reason, I received two, so I don't know why. Hopefully, it's good since I received two. Um, and then for Valentine's Day, this is one of Chris's presents. I'm going to tell him not to watch the end of this vlog, so he'll know not to watch unless he wants to ruin his valentines but um i gave him this cologne a couple years back and it definitely has a lot of scent memory now and he loves it so much and so he needed to replenish that so i got him that 
And then um, these are two, actually all of these are samples or things I got with 100 point um, perks. So we've got the Clinique, take the day off cleansing bomb. Oh, can you say, see I'm on a cleansing bomb kick. And then I've had a couple of these already and I love it. It's the Sol de Janeiro hair repair treatment. And it smells so delicious, like coconuts. And then I also have a Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb Aloe Vera. And then I also have Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep, Skin Transforming Pillow Cream from It Cosmetics. I love It Cosmetics skincare especially. Ma'am, can you please tell me what all the barking is about today, Holly? What's up with that today, huh? Got a barking like bug or something? Hmm? You got something to say? Lucy's got something to say. <laughs> well, maybe your face is way closer than I thought. <laughs> so today I am trying out a new small business makeup line called Voila. And I'm trying out their new serum foundation as well as this complexion and beauty sponge, which I've already been using and really enjoying. I love the different surfaces. Like this gets under my eye really well. And then there's two flatter sides, one smaller, one bigger. To really Here is what the packaging look like. I've already taken everything out as you can see. So they did send me three shades, shade one, two, and three. I do think two and three probably match me the best, but um, one has more of like a neutral light shade. It's for very fair skin with neutral undertones. Then shade two has a little more yellow in it, but it's still for light and to fair skin tones. And number three is light, it's still like a light to neutral undertone for light skin. So these two have been great. Really heavy packaging. It has like an iced out looking glass container with a gold lid. And then it does have a pump. So really nice packaging. Excuse if you see any scratches on my hands. That's totally Holly. But here is the other benefits of the foundation. It is vegan and cruelty free. All right, so I have all three shades on my face. This is shade two, shade one, and shade three. Um, shade, all, honestly, I can make any of these shades work for me. Shade two is slightly yellow for me. Um, this one's a little more neutral, as is this one. This one's a little, like, slightly dark, but it might be the closest. Um, I'm just going to blend them all in, though, so we can see the coverage. But so far, I really love the consistency. It's really thin, but really nice pigment just from one swipe. I just wet my beauty sponge a little bit from them. I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. Really nice consistency, like feels really nice on the skin. All right, I just did a little bit of concealer and we'll see how it how it lasts throughout the day. For now, I'm thinking it looks really good. Good morning, it's Tuesday, and I carpooled with Chris today, because um, he is actually going in. Um, he's been working from home a lot. The first day that poor little Holly has been left at home with Lucy, though, so I'm not too worried just because she's with Lucy. Let me park real quick, so I'm just sitting at the side here. I just dropped Chris off, but I'm a little worried about her. We have a camera in there, though, like a little puppy cam, so. I'll see what she's up to in a little bit here. My earrings are these really cute rose gold and little bling and it matches my ring. These are from ilovejewelry.com. I got them in my February set. I still haven't showed you guys that, so maybe I'll show you that later in the week. And then my cardigan I've shown on Instagram, but I don't know if I've shown it here on YouTube. It's from Unique Vintage and I love it so much and it's so nice and cozy. Thankfully, because today's in the 60s, which is it's chilly to me, not like cold, but chilly. And I usually will walk Mr. Darcy on Tuesdays at work. So I'm heading to work now. I just wanted to do a quick check-in and you're going to see a lot of Valentine's stuff this week. Uh, All right, quickly, I just wanted to show you guys that I wore another cute Valentine top today and I have my heart necklace that Chris gave me for our first Valentine's and he got me these that match last year for Valentine's. I looked much more put together probably in the morning. It's now nine hours later after work. Um, but I've been wearing this glowy eye look all week and I think I'm gonna do like a quick little video on Instagram on how I do it. And I also wore my faux pony. A couple of you asked me if I still use it and I haven't recently, not for any reason, so I decided to pull it out today. 
So these are the products I've been using for my glowy eye look. So first is the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. So this is a cream shadow here, and then this is like a super glittery, pigmented, metallic shadow. So that's what I'm pretty much um, majority of what's on my lid are these two shades here. And then this is in number three, Talia. And then in my inner corner, I have Steela Kitten. In my crease, I have Urban Decay's Free Love. And then I do have a little bit of this MAC shadow in my crease as well in Uninterrupted, which I'm not sure if this was limited edition or not. My lip is this lip lacquer from NARS, and it's in San Santo Domingo. Full vinyl lip color, lip lacquer. And I've been wearing this lip all week too. And I absolutely love it because it's so pigmented and it lasts all day for me. Because um, it kind of stains my lips too. But I really, really like the glowy eye look. And I've had a variation of this here on my channel before where I just used the Steela Kitten and the Urban Decay. What's it called? Free Love. Um, but I just wanted to make it even more glittery and have the crease be a little more defined than than I used to so all right I gotta go and get ready for work so I'm here at work I've got my cozy sweater from unique vintage on today but look who's with me she's finally calmed down no one's here at work today but I love having her at work hey guys I'm trying to get an angle where you'll see Holly and me but Holly got her first pup box and I realized I just totally opened that upside down Pup box, yay, we're gonna have some yummies. And it says, Puppy Bliss has arrived. How cute is that? And I totally opened it the wrong way, but. All right, she's ready. You see some goodies in there? <gasps> Look what we got, a toy. Oh, she's gonna love this because she loves like toys that she can tug a war with. Oh my gosh, look how excited she is. Let mommy take the tag off, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. We'll play in a second, okay? Good girl. Oh, we got some treats. We we'll got to share with Lucy. Polar pies, grain-free treats made with real beef and carrots. I'm sure she's gonna love that. You wanna try it? Okay, we'll try it. Mm. Smells pretty good, yeah. Does that smell good? Oh, yeah. She put her whole face in it, ready? Okay, show how cute and good your tricks are, ready? Good mama, sit. Lie down. Good girl. Okay, tell me what you think. Then we also have a teething and soothing puppy chew toy, chicken flavor from Nyla Bone. She will love that too, because she is very much so still teething. And then we have some good loving, no rawhide dog chews, pumpkin flavored teething rings with massaging grooves. Cool. So there's the packaging. And I will have to show you guys her trying these out later since she's still going to town on that other treat. Another toy, a Chomp and Chew tough -o meter Gentle, okay. So this one's from Leaps and Bounds. And it's like one of those kind of teething balls too. Massages their gums and she loves little balls. Look, another toy baby. I know, we're gonna have so much fun playing. I know. Oh, how cool. And they even put training and development for your four month old pup. Well, she's. Yeah. Say thanks, guys. I like my pup box, right? Can try the other toy. Since Holly was with me today, they haven't seen each other all day, and this is freaking adorable. <laughs> They're taking turns, like rolling over and like attacking each other. Oh, my loves. Yeah, sisters. Yeah. Good girl, Lucy. Good girls. <laughs> Aw, so sweet. Hey, guys, if you can hear the pups clanging in their doggy dishes, it's because I think they're trying to tell me something.
they're drinking water, but it's also dinner time. I can't say that loud because they totally know what that is. Um, I just finished, well, Holly and I just finished her first training session with Good Pup. I'm not sponsored by them. They have no idea who I am, but I saw an advertisement for it on Instagram and it was like your first week free. And then after that, I it's either 20 or $30. It might be $29 a week after your first free week. So I'll leave it linked down below if you're curious, if you have new puppies that need to be trained but or new dogs. But Holly did really good and I got some tips on how to train her for the biting. Um, it's playful biting, but it hurts. So I really need to stop her doing that and barking. <laughs> I don't mind her barking like if the doorbell rings or something like that. Like it's a natural thing for dogs to bark. It's more so when she's like barking and barking and barking and won't stop. Um, especially if I have like company over or I'm on a call. I want her to, you know, have a command or acknowledge like, okay, mom wants me to stop barking. I need to stop barking. And she has not gra quite grasped that yet. So we're going to train on that. But she is a really quick learner. I mean, she knows sit lie down she's coming over to me roll over here she comes hey peanut um roll over and sit lay down roll over paw and now she's learning touch which is where she just like I have like a treat in my hand like this and she touches my fingers. Anyway, I'm losing light here, but I just want to say, I think I'm really going to like it and I think I will keep her in it for a few more weeks. Um, I think it's a six week program. So if you, if it was $29 and you kept him in for the full six weeks, minus the one free week, that'd be $150. So it's not that bad, but I probably won't need to have her in for that long. I just wanted to get some tips on the biting and barking. Want to play babies? She keeps nudging me with her toy. You smart girl. You such a smart girl. Okay, I'm gonna play with her now. So we're starting off Valentine weekend right with a Pizza Hut heart pizza. It's so cute. We have mushroom and pepperoni on the side and then black olive and pepperoni. And then we got some breadsticks too. So I'm not gonna wear this scarf, but I just thought it was pretty to take a photo. I was taking a photo for Too Faced because today is, um, to, better than sex mascara day so and that's what I'm wearing today on my lashes and then I did use the Natasha Denona sunset palette for my eye look today and cream cup from MAC with a little bit of buxom gloss on the top um but yeah I just have this on for the picture I'm gonna take it off now just thought I'd show you because it's so pretty I think I'm gonna actually wrap this around one of my bags um, but now I'm going to go to a few stores just because our trash can broke. So I need to go and find a trash can and I need to go exchange um, a gift for my father-in-law. And since we're going to be seeing them today, we're visiting with them today, um, I need to go and get that taken care of before I see him. And I think we're gonna see the, the kids later for a little bit maybe and what else it's really cloudy today it looks like it's going to rain but it's not i don't know so i will take you along with me for a little bit of what's going on today Look what I just saw in the lamp section. Be happy, how cute is that? And there's also this Ray Dunn one that says dream. So I'm back home now and I'm going to show you the goodies that I picked up and I was able to find, first off, I was able to find some replacement loungewear PJs. Excuse you, I'm filming. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, 
Quiet, please. Also, while I was at Kohl's getting the replacement loungewear for my father-in-law, I saw these really cute Easter sets that they had. They had um, this, I got a table runner, and they also had mats. And I just love the detail in it. I love the bunnies, and I love that it has that cut-off detail, you know, where it's not a straight edge. I don't know. I really love the details. Look at that. It's so pretty. And then I found some really cute cards and things while I was at Home Goods. So the cards, I always look through these because they're usually like $1.99, and they're really cute. You won't find these like anywhere. Um, unfortunately, the doctor I work for, she had to put one of her pups down last week. Um, he did have a beautiful, like a really great life. Um, it was a Rottweiler, and of course, I feel really sad for her. And so I, I saw this, and I was like, I'm going to write her a little note. And I also got her a little gift that... I didn't show you guys, I don't think, but I'll maybe show you later. And then I don't ha know anyone yet that's pregnant, but I do know a few that are trying. So I thought I'd get this early um, for someone, and it says, holy guacamole, you're going to avo baby. Avo baby. That's $1.99 as well. And then this one, I mean, if Chris is watching this, sorry, babe, you're going to see this ahead of time. But I thought this was super cute for Chris's birthday. Happy birthday to my main squeeze. Just so cute. I also got these cute little napkins for Dr. Rockland, the doctor I work for, because um, she always is doing like charcuterie boards and having parties. And I just thought this was so cute for her to put out for Valentine's Day. And then I also got her like, something else Valentine's Day related. And then I got these cute thank you cards I mean obviously I had to get them with the little bee emblem and they're gold so they'll match my beauty room um, and I love writing thank you notes when you guys send me like a, a sweet gift or a card or a message and I want to send a little note so I use those a lot and then I also saw this now technically this is a jewelry holder as a marble base gold um, it was $9.99 and I've been looking for a gold mug rack but the best one I've seen it's very similar to this as a marble base and gold um, it just has like one more branch like going this way on Amazon and it's $39 and I can't find anything else similar so I thought this was a good alternative because I only need to hang two mugs at a time in my beauty room so I'll show you guys what that looks like soon and then I got this cute little guy he's so country because he looks like stone and he looks a little roughed up and I love that and like I said, I'm gonna decorate in all pastels, predominantly pink though. Um, he does have a little like scuff here, um, but I'm just gonna get some chalk paint and put a little bit on the top of that. He was $12.99, I got him for $9.99 since he had that little, little bit there. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I also got this really crazy big carrot. <laughs> I'm actually going to put this in the kitchen area over there. Um, Easter time to rest my spoon uh, when I'm cooking, but I just thought it was so cute. It was $4.99. It was the only one there too. Okay. I think that's all I got at home. Goes, oh no. And this too. Um, I was going to order one on Amazon, a new leash, like a retractable leash for Holly. And probably we'll use this for Lucy right now because Holly's still learning to use like a regular leash. But this was $9.99 at Home Goods, and it had the retractable leash and also the little doggy poop bag container and two of the doggy rolls, like waste bag, whatever. You guys get what I'm trying to say. Um, I saw this one on Amazon and it was $14.99. So I thought that was a good deal at Home Goods. And then my mom ended up giving me the spatula. She forgot to give it to me earlier, but it's so cute with all the hearts. I'm going to put that in the little crock over there. And then she also gave me this awesome thermometer, a digital thermometer. And Chris and I just tried it out and it makes me so excited because I hated using, I have the um, one that you take your temperature in your mouth. And I just didn't think it was as sanitary and it kind of worried me a little bit. So this is so much better. We have these at work also. So it works really well. I even try to do it on the pups because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> okay, and then Pacifica sent me a package with their mascara, the Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara. So I've never tried any of their mascaras, actually. No, that's not true. I think I've tried one of their mascaras, but I don't think I have this one. So I will tell you guys once I start trying that what I think. 
And last but not least, I got to replenish of my liquid IV. I take this every single morning. It's my first step of everything. Actually, you know what? I should probably do a what I eat in a day for you guys again. Please thumbs this video up and let me know down below in the comments if you would like me to do a what I eat in the day. Um, because this is what I start out. Now, I do intermittent fasting still, but obviously I'm not sticking to it 100% if I'm having one of these, which I think is 30 calories, 45 calories. So it does have some kind of calorie, but there's no like sugars or anything like that. And you get all the vitamin C and immune support and zinc and a bunch of other vitamins to just super hydrate you for the day. And I tell a huge difference when I don't have these.